Okay, this is an awful shot that still ends up with a pretty good result. Let's take a look. Okay, <laughs> that's about as ugly as it gets. Uh, what happens here is I miss everything to the inside. I'm shooting for the sixth board. I hit the 11th board. I'm five boards on the inside. Ball hangs out in the oil. Break points way too far to the inside. Ball just skids right past it, never breaks, hits way light. Head pin flies to the sideboard and comes back out and takes out both the seven and the four in that order. The four then falls kind of sideways and trips out the eight, two. Uh, both of those pins go down by action of the four pin. And I'm left with just a simple single pin spare, the five pin. Luckily, on a very errant shot, this should have been a two, four, five, eight bucket, no question. Uh, but due to the extreme pin action that I get out of this uh, with the head pin, uh, I'm able to get a pretty easy spare here with the five pin. Watch the head pin go to the sideboard right here. Hits way light, way off the mark. Head pin goes to the sideboard, comes back, takes out the seven. Then it takes out the four. Then the four falls sideways, takes out both the eight and the two. <laughs> I'm left with a very simple spare, the five pin. This should have been a two, four, five, eight bucket. Absolutely horrible shot. That's what happens when your line is too far to the inside. You're playing through heavy oil. You don't get enough turn on the ball. You have too much speed on the ball. All of the aforementioned facts and circumstances result in a ball that hits light, uh, doesn't grab the lane, doesn't bite, and you end up with a very, uh, sometimes a more difficult spare. This, this turns out to be pretty easy. You might wonder, well, it's a light hit. Why didn't you leave a 10 pin? Well, the ball gets deflected off the head pin so far that it actually slides into the six pin to take out the 10. Watch the three pin be driven straight back. The ball deflects off the head pin so far that it itself hits the six pin, which then takes out the 10. That's why you're not left with a light hit 10 pin there. But very nearly a two, four, five, eight bucket. Fortunately for me, a very simple spare, the five pin. Uh, this is what happens when you play an inside line, the ball doesn't come back.